American Pickers fans lash out, sick of lowballing. American Pickers is about to return for its new season. However, many fans are unsure if they want to return to the show after watching recent clips. According to many fans, ever since Robbie Wolf joined Mike Wolf in the cast, the two have been lowballing sellers. Many fans feel this is ruining the series. Here is what fans are saying about Mike and Robbie's recent actions. American Pickers confused of lowballing sellers. The biggest lure of a show like American Pickers is seeing the team travel to small towns across the United States and find prized items that might have been hidden away for many decades. The idea is to reintroduce these items to viewers and then purchase them to move them on to someone who might do something with them. That hasn't been happening as much lately. Instead, the show is starting to look like another popular reality TV series. Like on shows like Pawn Stars, Mike and Robbie seem to have started looking more into profits than they were into uncovering these treasured items. Many fans say it is ruining the show. This is happening more and more lately as Mike, Robbie, and Jersey John have been finding items and then lowballing the sellers. In many cases, the items go back into storage because the team isn't even offering what the items are worth, almost trying to cheat the owners out of the possessions. In one clip from the show, Mike and Robbie look at a woman's vintage gas station memorabilia, which includes signs, pumps, and tools. Mike offers $1,500 for a vintage oil can. The woman counters with $2,500 and Mike goes to $1,700. She asks to meet in the middle at $1,850. Mike finally pays $1,800 for it. After Mike looked at the gas pump, he said he could restore it to $7,500. She wanted $10,000, but Mike ended up agreeing on $8,700. Fans lash out at American Pickers. While some of these deals just sound like haggling for the price, many fans watching the American Pickers clips felt that Mike was lowballing the sellers. Many fans feel that the show has lost its way and is no better than a pawn shop show with the team trying to just get things for discount rates. I want to lowball you for my prices, and it sell it for six times as much. Don't come my house. Not welcome. Jersey has caused me to dislike this show. He is always trying to low dollar the seller. This was especially seen last week when fans started complaining when the guys tried to lowball a seller on a rare 1924 Ford Model T. In this case, the man just turned them down rather than sell the car for less than its true value. For years, American Pickers has taken viewers on an adventure through dusty barns, forgotten backyards, and long-abandoned buildings across the heartland of America. Hosts Mike Wolf and his team of treasure hunters, including Danielle Colby, and until recently, Frank Fritz, have scarred the country, seeking hidden gems amid the detritus of yesteryear. The allure of the show lies in the thrill of the hunt the unexpected discoveries, the stories behind the antiques, and the colorful characters met along the way. Yet despite the nostalgic appeal, longtime fans are growing weary of one constant in the show, the lowball offers that Mike and company present to sellers. In the early days of American Pickers, it seemed the hosts were genuinely interested in giving a fair deal for the items they uncovered. Whether it was a vintage motorcycle gas tank or an old advertising sign, there was a sense that they respected the seller's connection to the pieces. As the years have rolled on, however, fans have become increasingly vocal about what they perceived to be an imbalance in these transactions. Many accuse the show of offering outrageously low amounts for items that are clearly worth much more leaving a sour taste in the mouths of viewers who once rooted for the pickers. The frustration is palpable on social media. A quick scroll through Twitter and Facebook reveals a growing chorus of discontent. 
How can my offer $50 for something that's easily worth $500? One angry viewer posted. Another fan chimed in. These people are sitting on valuable pieces of history, and they're being lowballed left and right. It's insulting. One of the most glaring examples of this tension came during a recent episode when Mike stumbled upon a rare 1930s Coca-Cola porcelain sign, perfectly preserved and with vibrant colors. The owner, a soft-spoken elderly man who had collected signs for over 50 years, was visibly attached to the piece. He shared stories of how he acquired it and its sentimental value. Despite the emotional connection, Mike offered just $150 for the sign, a sum that left fans fuming, especially when the pickers later revealed that they expected to sell it for well over $1,000. That was hard to watch. One longtime viewer commented on an online forum dedicated to the show. The man clearly didn't want to part with the sign, but Mike kept pushing. And then to offer so little. It's like they don't even care anymore. Indeed, for many fans, the heart of the show has shifted. What was once a celebration of American history, a treasure trove of stories and nostalgia, has devolved into a series of tough negotiations where the bottom line seems to be the only priority. The human element, the connection between seller and item, has taken a backseat to what many perceive as the picker's greed. A frequent complaint revolves around Mike's negotiating style. While Mike is known for his charm and quick wit, viewers argue that his charm has increasingly been replaced by a relentless focus on securing the best deal, often at the expense of fairness. Mike used to seem so genuine, said one disillusioned fan. But now it feels like he's just trying to see how little he can get away with offering. It's not even fun to watch anymore. The departure of Frank Fritz, a fan favorite, has only added fuel to the fire. Frank was often seen as the more grounded of the two pickers, with a genuine enthusiasm for rusty gold and a less aggressive negotiating style. His absence has left a noticeable void, and fans have noticed. Frank had heart, a fan wrote. He left the items for what they were, not just for what he could flip them for. Mike seems like he's only in it for the money now. To be fair, American Pickers is, at its core, a business. The items the team buys are intended to be resold at a profit, often after restoration or refurbishment. It's only natural that they aim to buy low and sell high. But for many viewers, the charm of the show wasn't in the profits. It was in the stories, the history, and the connections forged along the way. The increasingly transactional nature of the show has left fans feeling disconnected from what made American Pickers special in the first place. It's not just the low offers that have viewers upset. It's the way the negotiations are handled. Many feel that sellers, especially older ones who might not be as savvy about the value of their items, are taken advantage of. They prey on people who don't know what they have, one critic claimed. It's sad to watch them walk away with a fraction of what something is worth, while Mike and Danielle high-five about their next big payday. The backlash has reached a fever pitch in recent months, with fans calling for a return to the show's roots. We want to see the passion again, one viewer posted on Facebook. Stop focusing on how much money you can make and start showing some respect for the people and the history behind these items. Others have suggested that the show should include more transparency about the true value of the items being purchased. I get that they're running a business, one fan admitted, but at least be upfront about how much something is worth. Let the sellers make an informed decision. Whether or not the producers of American Pickers will respond to the criticism remains to be seen. The show has enjoyed a long and successful run, but fan loyalty is fragile. As viewers grow more frustrated with the low-ball offers and high-pressure negotiations, the future of the show may hinge on whether the team can recapture the magic that made it a hit in the first place. 
For now, fans continue to voice their displeasure, hoping that Mike Wolf and his crew will listen. After all, the show isn't just about finding hidden treasures. It's about the people, the stories, and the respect for America's past. As one passionate viewer put it, if they don't stop with the lowballing, they're going to lose what made this show great. And once it's gone, they can't pick it back up.